will explain how the code connects physically to the component and how it connects to the database and dashboard. So we include library, we define the pins according to ASP32, we define the values and this is how we connect to the hotspot to connect to the database by this is my SSID, password and the IP needs to be correct on also the path. So this is just pH sensor and soil moisture and this is how we connect to the Wi-Fi and if the Wi-Fi is not connected, it will just stay connecting to Wi-Fi. This is the debugging for water pump and this is the pH sensor coding and the formula and the calibration and it will serial print the pH value to the serial monitor and this is also they will also print the soil moisture value to the serial monitor where if the the soil moisture value is below 3500 it will stop the water pump and this is where we send data to the server by sending data to the server we use the post data where we send the pH water moisture value pH value just now and the water pump status if it's on or off to the database and to the dashboard so that it can update. If the data is sent successfully, it will say data sent successfully. If not, HTTP request failed. And to run this, we need to click upload. So once uploaded, as we can see, the pH value soil moisture is uh, written in the serial monitor and also the decision turning on water pump. And if it's successful or not, we can go to the local host. Uh, this database is empty, but if I refresh, as you can see, the database uh, collected the information from the Arduino server Arduino code. And if we check the dashboard, as we can see, water pump status on and this is the latest. If I refresh, keep refreshing, pH level change but so moisture, look, the water pump is on. But if I um, moist the soil moisture, I refresh, as you can see, water pump status is off, soil moisture change, pH level change. And of course, at the database, the water pump status will be off when I put the moisture in the soil moisture. Okay, untuk demo kami punya smartphone water tu. Sini kami terdapat pasu uh, tanaman kentang di mana ia kering. Jadi untuk menghidupkan sistem kami ini. Uh, power pump akan dihidupkan menggunakan soil moisture sensor. Bila soil moisture sensor ini akan mendeteksi kelembapan tanah. Jadi bila mana kelembapan tanah didetek oleh website di bawah 3500 uh, ketika itu power, uh, water pump akan berhenti berfungsi. Dan seterusnya di sini kita ada satu uh, kami menggunakan satu lagi pH sensor. pH sensor ini juga untuk mendetek tahap pH dalam air. So jadi uh, seperti yang kita tahu umumnya tanaman kentang ni memerlukan kadar pH dari 5 hingga ke 7. Bila dia lebih daripada itu maka uh, OSI akan detect dan tugas petani lah untuk secara manual tukar tangki air ni kepada air yang baru dan selain itu selain daripada dua sensor itu kami menggunakan banyak komponen lain iaitu buat ASP32 dan relay modul 3 volt dan relay modul 3 volt dikonekkan ke water pump dan untuk water pump juga dihidupkan dengan power source lain beraksingan iaitu menggunakan 12 volt adapter